It's been a long time since the Bemidji girls golf team has made it to states, 2004 to be exact. But after coming close the past few years, they could finally make their triumph in return by winning sectionals next week. The team has played in 10 events this year, finishing no worse than third and winning twice, giving the team confidence going into sectionals. I think it's good for everyone to get that feeling of winning, just so, like, I think it just helps everyone to know, like, okay, we can do it, like, just, everyone's just got to play well and get it done. I'm really proud of the team and how hard they've been working. We've been out here every day from, like, 3.30 to 5.30, just kind of working our butts off to make sure that we have a good chance at going to the state as a team. They've come close recently, falling just short to Buffalo and Alexandria. But this could be the squad to finally seal the deal. Uh, I think that's like my biggest goal. I've always wanted to win the section as a team, and it'd be even better to do it golf this year. We've had individuals go the last couple years, Taylor and Abby, and we hope that, that they'll go back again this year, but it would really be a lot more fun for our whole program to take a team down there, and to, to do that, we have to win. In order to get over the hump, it'll take a complete team performance and not worrying too much about the bad shots and bad holes. We all need to take our strokes more seriously. Like, you kind of have a blow-up hole, and it kind of gets to our heads. So if we can just kind of let those go and just kind of keep playing and know that you're still doing all right, that we can keep it lower. That one shot could be the difference between first place and second place. So I think just kind of like keeping it together over like the next couple days of sections. Bemidji will take on 10 other schools next week in the pre-section tournament at Rich Spring featuring those same 10 teams. The Lumberjacks finished in third place. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.